Navigating in Canvas is easy. Let's take a quick tour of the Canvas navigation tools to help you learn how to get around. On the left side of the screen is the vertical navigation menu. It has buttons for the places you can go in Canvas. Whatever tool you are using will be blue. To go to another tool, use your mouse to move your pointer where you want to go and then left click your mouse on the button one time. Doing this will open the tool and take you where you want to go. I clicked on the modules tool. This is the modules page. Use the arrows next to the module name to open and close the module. Each module is filled with content like pages, discussions, and quizzes. Any item that is underlined when you hover over it is a link. You can left click on any linked item to open it. On the far right side of the page, you will find a vertical scroll bar. The scroll bar helps you move up and down the pages in Canvas. Click your mouse on the bar to grab it and then you can drag it up and down the page. Release your mouse button when you want to stop scrolling. Sometimes there will also be a horizontal scroll bar on the bottom of the page. If you see this type of scroll bar, it will help you move left to right on the pages in Canvas. At the bottom of each page in Canvas, except for the home page, you will find the previous and next buttons. Click on the previous button to go to the page right before this one. Click on the next button to go to the next page in the module. Now I'm going to click on the modules button again and take you back to the modules page to show you another way to open buttons and links. If you right click on any button or link you will be given the option to open the tool or a page in a new tab. This can be handy if you want to look at many pages at the same time. I've just opened three new tabs. Some pages in Canvas will automatically open in a new tab, but most of them will open in the same tab, replacing the page that you were on. To flip between the tabs, simply click the tab for the page you want to see. When you're ready to close the page, click on the X. At the top of the page, you will see the breadcrumb links. These are called breadcrumbs because they leave a trail of where you have been in Canvas, just like the story of Hansel and Gretel. These links can help you retrace your steps in Canvas. If you left-click a breadcrumb link, it will usually take you back to the activity you were doing one or two steps before the page you're on. This breadcrumb link takes us back to the home page. In the top left corner, there is a back arrow. Clicking the back arrow will take you back one page in Canvas. Clicking the forward arrow will take you forward one page in Canvas. This demo is being recorded using the Chrome browser. There is also a back arrow in the Firefox browser, but it looks a little different. Clicking on the Home button will always take you back to the home page.